large parts of rural India depend on groundwater. Groundwater is used for drinking and domestic purposes, meeting irrigation needs including livestock requirement and in industry. Groundwater also contributes to environmental flows. Understanding groundwater resources is important in developing responses to various groundwater problems such as groundwater depletion and groundwater pollution. This short film is part of a study by Advanced Centre for Water Resources Development and Management or AquaDam for short on understanding groundwater resources in a low rainfall drought prone area underlain by basalt rock. The film helps understand the broad process of studying groundwater through the science of hydrogeology. How often have we seen wells from which people draw water for their various needs? Whether it is women fetching water for domestic use or farmers pumping water for crops. We can see groundwater only when it is extracted from wells. Groundwater is water occurring in the pore spaces, fractures and other such openings in rocks. We are now in Pandeshwar and what we can see behind us is an exposure of alluvium which forms the principal aquifer in this region. Alluvium over here is made up of different sized grains which are cemented together by calcium carbonate. It is the different intergranular spaces between these grains that are responsible for the storage and movement of groundwater through this rock. Wells, bow wells, tube wells are man-made mechanisms used to extract groundwater. Springs on the other hand are examples of how groundwater emerges at the surface naturally. Groundwater occurs in aquifers. Aquifers are saturated rocks or material derived from rocks like sand and gravel, capable of storing and transmitting water underneath the earth's surface. Aquifers provide water to wells from where it can be pumped out. Aquifers also feed streams and rivers, especially during the dry season. Stream flows fed by groundwater are called base flows. Aquifers may occur at relatively shallow depths below the ground surface. Groundwater in such aquifers can be said to be at atmospheric pressure. Such aquifers are called unconfined aquifers. Sometimes, aquifers occur at much greater depths below the ground. Groundwater contained in such aquifers is at pressures exceeding atmospheric pressure due to the overlying and underlying rocks. Such aquifers are called confined aquifers. The type of rock, its structure and especially the openings within decide how much water the rock will store and how quickly it will allow it to flow from one point to another within the aquifer. Conditions even within one type of rock such as basalt may change from one place to another. This creates differing situations of groundwater accumulation and movement. It is important to understand the rock types, their distribution in an area and the openings that they show in order to understand the accumulation and movement of groundwater in a particular watershed or an aquifer. In the basalt rocks, for example, there are two types of rocks, the vesicular amygdaloidal type of basalts and the compact type of basalts. For instance, you can see the vesicular amygdaloidal type of basalts just behind me. And on the exposure on the stream cutting, you can see the compact basalts. Now the need to identify these two types of basalts stems from the fact that the vesicular amygdaloidal basalts 
show horizontal sheet joints, whereas the compact basalts show subvertical or vertical joints. These two types of openings give these rocks very different properties from the set of from the point of accumulation and movement of groundwater. Pumping of groundwater from wells and the discharges to base flows cause aquifers to deplete. Aquifers must sufficiently fill up again if wells have to sustain pumping for many years and streams must remain alive longer. This refilling of aquifers is called groundwater recharge. Many areas of India depend upon groundwater. Usually, the relationship between availability of groundwater and the extent to which it is used decides if an aquifer can sustain various demands. If availability and demand of groundwater are not balanced through systematic supply and wastewater management, groundwater problems such as overexploitation and groundwater pollution can occur. Hydrogeology is the science of groundwater. Hydrogeological investigations are important in understanding the problems of groundwater overexploitation, groundwater quality, and even in setting up strategies for recharge and groundwater use. Study of groundwater in rural India has enormous significance. Groundwater studies help in understanding aquifers, they help in understanding you know, where to construct wells and how to use water from these wells. Vilasrao Salunke realized this in the year 1972 during a nationwide drought in India when he toured all these areas in Purandar Taluka. It was during this time that he realized the importance of uh, measures to overcome water scarcity through a system of integrated watershed management, a system of equitable distribution of water mobilized through groundwater uh, management linked to watershed development, and then talking about how to manage water in different situations. The first step in understanding groundwater is to conduct geological mapping. Geological mapping involves study of rock exposures in stream cuttings, road cuttings, and wells. It is important to identify the different rock types in an area and the openings within these rocks that help groundwater accumulation and movement. A detailed study of wells in an area is called a well inventory. A well inventory helps create a profile for each well in an area. This inventory includes information regarding the dimensions of a well, the rocks in which the well is sunk, details regarding the water-bearing zones and the fluctuations in the water levels, information on the water use from a well, the history of groundwater resources development in an area, and the seasonal and long-term trends in groundwater levels, groundwater storage and groundwater quality can be obtained during the well inventory. Well inventory is a process by virtue of which potential problems surrounding groundwater resources in any area can be identified. A well inventory